Hey guys, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Noah Carpenter. I am the Caroliner here at the Sydney Case McCammon Memorial Carillon here in the Highlands Historic District of Middletown, Ohio. Today we're going to take you on a very rare glimpse inside the Carillon up to the top of the tower and see the bells and how the Carillon is played on a regular basis. Let's head on up. The bell tower and the three swinging bells were part of the $210,000 addition that the church began in the summer of 1963. The addition of the 35 carillon bells was a dream of the late Reverend Sidney McCammon, rector of the Church of the Ascension since his first days at the church in 1950. Thus today the bell tower being known as the Sidney Case McCammon Memorial Carillon. Now we are up in what's called the playing room. This is where the manual console is to play the carol and to ring the bells, and to make all that sometimes always wonderful music come out of the tower. Let's take a look at how it's done. The carol on console is set up in a chromatic order just as a piano. Natural keys on the bottom, sharps and flats on the top row. To play the carillon, the caroliner strikes the wooden handles known as batons with his or her closed fists. When the batons are struck, that action is then carried through these lead cables up into the belfry, where the bells are in the room located directly above the playing room. Those cables each connect to a clapper inside each individual bell. This action is mechanical action in the same way that a piano is played. The harder the batons are struck, or the softer, the louder or quieter the bells are rung. Alrighty, so right now we're actually inside of the largest bell in the carillon. This bell comes in at a whopping three tons and is one of three bells that swing, also known as a peel. So inside the bell, there is this clapper right here. This clapper weighs close to about 200 pounds. And when the bell swings, it sways back and forth and eventually, bell swings it actually throws the sound back and forth. Now this is only one way that the bell can be rung. The other options are there's clappers on the outside for the mounted bells. Let's take a look at those next. We are now outside of the three swinging bells. Three of some of the biggest bells in the carillon. Mounted on the left here, are the mechanical clappers for the carillon, for the manual playing system. Here, we have the electric clappers for the computed playing system, which we'll take a look at later. As you can see, the computer system allows the carillon to be played when the caroliner cannot be there. A digitalized computer system plays and controls 14 of the bells from these clappers mounted on the outside. You can see underneath and inside the bells, the clappers for the mechanical part of the carillon. bells are swinging, you have almost a grand total of five tons swaying back and forth pulling against the tower. At some points you can actually feel the tower move. The carillon was one of the very first keyboard instruments ever created. In North America alone there are just over 180 in total. Here in the Highlands Historic District, we are so delighted to have such a historic instrument to call ours.
Climbing up the 55 step spiral staircase reveals arguably one of the best views in all of Middletown. From the historic stained glass windows, the historic architecture, to a picture-perfect view like no other. We at the Highlands are proud to say that the bells are here and they're here to stay.